All right, good day, everyone. I believe your day has been great. All right, so um, quickly, someone in the general group said I should share my bias on um, Crash 1000, and that's what I'm doing in this video, all right? So, um, but before we go into the um, proper explanation, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to the channel, click the like button on the video, and then also click the notification bell so that you can get notified when videos like this drop. Regularly, I'll be dropping my um, trade bias on some of the assets that requests are made. So try as much as possible to actually subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you can be notified when videos like this drop. Also, we have a free Telegram channel, all right? You can join the free Telegram channel where most of the traders there, you know, share their trade ideas. We talk about it, some give signals, all right? So try as much as possible to join um, the Telegram. So try as much as possible to join that Telegram group, all right? Okay, so um, without no further talk, all right, so let's go to the chart straight away. All right, so this crash 1000, all right, I, I start from the daily time frame, basically, all right, because I wanted to see that on daily time frame, we have a market structure, you know, broken, all right? So we have um, BOS breaking market structure, all right? So this eye has been violated, it has been taken. So now um, this is where our inducement is currently, all right? This might change, all right? But currently this is where our inducement is. So our inducement is there. All right, so we have our IDM, IDM around that place. So we, we are looking at two options, all right? Since structure has broken for a buy on daily, so we anticipate more push to the upside, all right? So basically, I want price to do something like this, all right? Price should come down into this area, all right? Into this area, clear this inducement, and then start pushing up. That's the first scenario. That's what is on my mind. The first scenario that is on my mind, all right? This is possible, all right? And also, majorly, price can come to this particular zone I draw here and give us a lower time frame confirmation and then push up. Either ways, yeah, any of these is possible, all right? But we have to be patient to see what happens when price gets to any of these zones, all right? So try as much as possible to follow, you know, whatever happened on this asset. But on the long run, I am anticipating a buy, all right? Though currently I'm waiting for a sell retracement, but in the long run, I will be buying this asset when it gets to the two zones, this particular zone here below or this zone above. So those are the two zones I'm looking out for price to tap into, give me a confirmation, and then I start buying. But majorly, this particular place will be where I'll be looking out for price, all right? I'll be watching what price would do around that place. Okay, the zone is white, so that's why I'll be waiting for, you know, um, lower time frame confirmation, all right? So I'll, I'll wait for lower time frame confirmation around there, before I start buying. So price in the long run is supposed to come straight down to that zone, all right? Here, this is the possibility, the first one, all right? And, sorry, deleting this, all right? So this is the first possibility. Price comes to this zone after clearing the inducement push up. All right, the second possibility is that price comes into this zone and then push up. So either ways, those are the possibilities you are looking out for. All right, so try 
um watch this video subscribe to the channel so that you can get um you know bias like this on asset right just have a profitable trading weekend right bye for now